Hello, royal folks. It's good to see you all here again. This is your regular dose of royal news and analysis. But before we start, please subscribe to my channel and click the bell icon. Thanks. Prince Andoryu has reportedly held intense talks with the queen about his future in the royal family. But should he give up hope of a comeback? Prince Andrew, the Duke of York, reportedly spent three days at Balmoral with the Queen to discuss his role in the firm. It is claimed Andrew wants to try to establish a route back to royal life with a new position. A friend of Andrew's told The Sun on Sunday, August 21, he is a 62-year-old man and knows that he can't spend the rest of his days sitting around at Royal Lodge in Windsor, walking his dogs and riding horses. He's thinking about what he can do. He has had discussions with the Queen about what he can do with his life, but there are also wider family discussions. Another source added, He knows he let his mother down badly, but he hasn't been convicted of a crime. He wants to try to establish a route back. He's hoping the Queen can influence Prince Charles and Prince William, who see no way back for him. He wanted a few days alone with his mother to talk about his future. Following his involvement in the Jeffrey Epstein scandal, the Queen's second son stepped back from public duties. He was subsequently stripped of his military roles, charitable affiliations, and HRA status. Andrew has always denied the claims and his financial settlement with Virginia Juffer over a sexual assault case is not an admission of guilt. Despite this, Andrew remains a senior royal and has round-the-clock security. The annual cost to the taxpayer of guarding Andrew is reportedly up to PS2 million. Daily Express's royal correspondent Richard Palmer recently claimed Andrew was delusional to think he could return to public life. Speaking on the Daily Express's royal roundup in June, he said, I've spoken to people in the royal circles, better not say more than that, who are really tearing their hair out with him. This is because, you know, they say he is delusional about the public's reaction to him. Nobody underestimates the public's shock and revulsion, his involvement in the Epstein scandal more than Prince Andrew. So what do you think, guys? Please share your thoughts in the comments. Until then, thanks for watching. We'll see you again with some more interesting news about royal family. Thank you.